What is good, everybody? It's your boy Jay in the building, and we are back again with another video. All right, man, so y'all already see the title of, of this video, so you know what's going on, man. We have Delaware State's 2023 football recruiting class, man, and we are kicking things off with Anton Rickhamstrick. Now, Rickhamstrick is a transfer from the University of Buffalo, a uh, 6'5", 225-pound DN, uh, hometown Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Now, uh... I think he was a red shirt, uh, I think, his previous year at University of Buffalo. So, he is entering this season as a red shirt sophomore, I believe. Uh, but, so, getting back to his last year at high school, you know, due to it being a COVID year. So, it was cut short to, I think, six games. Had 56 tackles with two interceptions. And he was first team all-conference. Uh, all reasons first team as well captain captain of the team so now he's headed to Delaware State man so mm. all right and next up we have Amir Anderson now Amir is a transfer from Monterey uh, Peninsula College I think in Monterey California but I think his hometown is in Maryland I think yeah he's a native of maryland so he's 63 191 pounds uh let's check him out i don't know if i think he plays corner i believe 63 corner i like those so let's check him out for a little bit mm, glitching off the edge mm, okay i couldn't i couldn't find anything uh in terms of his stats for real so we're gonna just just check him out i like tall corners Mmm. Okay. Mm, get hit. Okay. He brings the boom, though. I, I like it. He brings the boom. Mmm. Get D. All right. And next up, we have Kyrie Benton. Um, he's going to be an, an incoming freshman coming from St. Francis Academy in Baltimore, Maryland. 6'1", 175-pound receiver. Uh, now, he did also have offers to both Boston College and uh, UNC Charlotte. So, let's come up a little bit. Hmm. Return the kick. We always like those. And another one. You about to return another one to the crib? Turn on to the crib? Come on. Mm. We like those. We like it. To, to the crib. Yes, sir. All right. Hit in the slot. Out route. Easy. One more out for me. Where you at? Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Next up, we have Kenyon Campler. A uh, camper, I'm sorry. Um 6'5", 315 pound offensive lineman coming from St. Francis Pilati. Uh, I think uh, hometown Maryland. So let's check them out. Number 77. Push them down. On the left side, okay. Mm. Ball them. Boy, he's tall. Boy, he big, he big boy. I know 94 on, on the other team, big too. Okay. Get him out of there. Left side. Alrighty. Hmm. All right. Next up, we have Semesi Fegata. Uh, 6'2", 250 pound defensive lineman from Oak Hill High School in California. Let's check him out. Oh, whoa. Oh, what? D. 
damn, what kind of tackle was that? That was kind of crazy. Oh, and he got the hair. Oh, and he got the hair. Oh, you know he, he finna go crazy. And he got the hair. You know he gonna go crazy. Oh, no. And he got the hair hang, hanging off the helmet. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hmm. Right side. Yeah, you know what time it is. We got the hair on the helmet, and you have a hard name to pronounce. Oh yeah, you know what's coming. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Come on now. Yeah, he he working. He working. Hey man, and next up we have Jordan Hall. Now, uh, Jordan is a transfer from Lafayette College. Wide receiver 6'1", 195 pounds, uh, hometown Zionsville, Indiana, I believe. Let's check him out for a little bit. Let's check him out. Mm, okay. I don't know if I ever heard of uh, Lafayette College before. Okay. Mm, got him. Okay. Mm. Where you at? Slam, okay. Right, next up we have Keyshawn Mansfield, uh defensive back out of Lewis out of Lewis, Delaware. I think he went to uh Cape Henlopen High School. Um six one hundred and eighty pounds. Let's check him out. Let's check him out for a little bit. Where you at? Okay, he's on the left side at the top. The outside, okay. Pick, better pick it. Mm, all close, okay. Mm. Good tackle, okay. I like it. Mm. Mm. Got him, mm. boy. You need 10 push-ups just for dropping that easy pick. Land it right in his right in his hands. Come on. Boom! All right, next up, and I want to try and see if I could pronounce your name because, oh my goodness, I tried like 10 times. So, let me see. Oh, okay. In Uber Nike, no Buglu. If I said it wrong, I completely apologize. All right, so... No Bugaloo. Center. 6'2, 290 pounds <laughs> from Baltimore, Maryland. He went to Dunbar High School. Let's check him out. I'm sorry, yo. Like, I saw your name. I almost didn't even try to attempt it. Cause I said, yo, come on, man. Oh! Did he like take the ball from him? Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yo, I saw your name, dog. I'm like, yo, come on, man. I was like, come on. Like, cause I, I swear I tried, like, I was like pronouncing your name at least 15 to 20 times. So if I said it wrong, well, I apologize. I want to hear your name said correctly. For real, for real. But you a beast, though. All right. And next up, we have Malcolm Stansberry. Uh, Wide receiver out of Edison High School, uh, hometown Edison, New Jersey. Uh, 5'11", 165 pounds. Let's check him out. Mm, okay. Good grab, good grab, good grab. I'm really interested to see what their offer's going to look like. Ooh, whip route. I like it. Turn it outside. Mm, gone. Got him. Uh, a little push off. That's a little push off, but okay. That's a, that's a little push off, but all right. I seen that. It's a, it's a little push off. Mm, okay. I ain't mad at the push off, though, because it wasn't me. I ain't mad at the push off. Mm. Okay. Ready?
All right, and next up we have Jaden Sutton, uh, a transfer out of Lafayette College, um, running back 5'11", 230 pounds, uh, hometown Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So, okay, let's check him out for a little bit. Mm, two, uh, a 230-pound running back. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid running back right there. Mm, okay. So you have two guys coming from uh, Lafayette College. Okay. Mm, ooh, okay. Spin move. Uh oh. Mm, good move. Oh, good move. Yes, sir. They stood up. He, he just bounces all like him. Him being too dirty, bro. He just bounces. He just bounces all, bro. I like that. Mm, okay. Got him. Next up, we have Takai Wallace. Um, incoming freshman coming from uh Gwen Park High School, hometown uh Brady Wine, Maryland. Uh, six five, two hundred and eighty pound offensive lineman. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Oh yeah, mm. push him up the field. I like to see that. Mm, okay. No sir, nothing. He gets not out. No, you know. I'm about to say, don't, don't try to raise your hand up. There was no holding. Hmm. Okay. Nice run. At the top, left side. Mm, get out of here, linebacker. Move that linebacker up the field. Okay. Maryland got some ballers up there. I like that. Maryland got some ballers. I like that Maryland got some ballers, man. Come on. Yep. Get him. All right, next up, we have Kristen Tate, a wide receiver from DeMartha Catholic High School, 6'1", 165 pounds, hometown Bowie, Maryland. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Hmm, okay. He on, playing defense, too. Oh, with a pick. Pick six. Okay. He play deep he play a little defense too. I like it. Uh oh. Wrong. Made a mistake kicking it to him. Made a mistake kicking it to him. Made a mistake kicking it to him. Oh no. Mm-mm. Okay. Alright, alright. Uh oh. Oh, he going again? Gone again. Mm. Okay. He got some kick return skills. I like it. Oh, another one. He got another one in him. He got another one in him. Hmm. Okay. Reverse field on him. And scored with it. Next up, we have Carter Raisin, uh, coming from Red Lion Academy. Uh. Long snapper, 5'1", five, five, 240 pounds, hometown uh, Bear, Delaware. Let's look him out. Okay, thank you. Because it said here 5'1". Ain't no way in hell that look, he look 5'1". I assume he's 6'1". Okay. I feel, okay. I feel better now. Because it on here, it definitely said 5'1". But, yeah, he's 6'1". Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, you can get the out of here with that, man. That's, that's a typo. That was definitely a typo. Because I'm like, hold up. I know. I, am I reading this right? 5'1"? Nah, he's 6'1". Yeah, he he definitely 6'1". Okay, he, yeah. We're going to say 6'1", 240. All right, next up, we have Dylan 
Davis Dixon, a uh, 6'3", 185-pound defensive back uh, coming from Overbrook High School, hometown Pine Hill, New Jersey. Let's check him out. Check him out for a little bit, okay. Mm. Okay. Everybody? Mmm. Going with the motion. Mmm. Way to meet him in the backfield. I like that. Uh oh. Come here. Okay, blitzing up the edge. Like it. Last but not least, we have Kristen Garrett, a defensive back out of St. Francis Academy High School, uh, hometown Washington, D.C. 6'3, 185 pounds. We'll turn off a little bit. All right, so as he goes, so I'm going to be interested to see what Delaware State does with a uh, first year coach. Lee Hall, um, Delaware State definitely had some hard-fought games last year. I think they finished five and six last year with, uh, and they finished two and three in the conference. Now I did go to their homecoming game when they played against North Carolina Central, and they played them tough. Like they, they really played North Carolina Central tough, man. I think it was down to the wire. I think they, uh, they lost in overtime. You know, so in in Delaware State was driving and they got stopped at the goal line, and that's how the game ended. But Delaware State definitely has some hard fought games. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be interested to see how their team looks this year. You know, they got 16 new players coming in, or maybe more. But this is what I saw. You know, so. I'm interested to see what they do under first year head coach, man. And I would def I, I would definitely be at uh, at one of their games when they play um, Lynchburg. And I'm going because look, Lynchburg definitely needs some support, you know, because we all know they play all away games. I don't <laughs> they don't have not one home game. I don't believe. And but that's how <laughs> it's always been for Lynchburg. So, I think I will, I think I'm gonna be going to their game versus a Lynchburg. So I'll be there. So I think that's September 30th, I believe. So yeah, man. So I can't wait to see what uh, Delaware State looks like this year, man. So shout out to them. Oh, and Delaware State is coming up to Connecticut when they play against Central Connecticut. So I might be at that game too. So, but we're gonna see what happens, man. Shout out to Delaware State. And good luck this season, man.